Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and today I'm going to show you how to use cup chain ends. So when you have a length of cup chain, you will notice that the end is not finished. It just comes to a blunt stop, and you can't really attach a jump ring. You can't do a lot with it other than glue it or embed it in crystal clay, which are both great options, but sometimes you want to turn it into a necklace or a bracelet, and you want to have a way of attaching a jump ring, attaching a clasp to it. And so that's when cup chain ends come in handy. And that's what these little guys are. You can see they've got little prong settings basically, and you're going to go ahead and fit the end link of your cup chain into the cup chain ends. And it's going to look like this. And then what that allows you to do is to those little end loops, you can attach a jump ring and then attach a clasp and make a finished piece of jewelry. So it's really easy to do this. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is Figure out the size of your cup chain and then the corresponding size of the cup chain end. So that's important to figure out because you'll see they do come in different sizes. You'll want to make sure you choose the appropriate size for your cup chain and that's all listed on the Beetaholic website. So once you've found the size that is appropriate, you're going to take your cup chain, the last link, and you're going to set it right down into the cup chain end. And you can see there's a little notch, there's a little groove right there that allows for this little bridge, that little metal bridge, to fit right in there and it's actually going to hold it. Now what you need to do is fold over the side tabs. Now what I like to do is I like to take a pair of chain nose pliers and just very carefully, because you don't want to hurt the crystal, I'm holding the cup chain end by the loop. The chain is resting in there and it's actually pretty secure. I just depress the side and let it fold over. And I'm going to do that on the other side. There you go. And now that is in there. It's not going anywhere. And now you have a perfect loop to attach a jump ring, a clasp, or some other jewelry component to it. And you can make a lot of different jewelry styles very simply now by using these cup chain ends in correspondence with the cup chain.